Dave Reyes, everybody. Let him hit. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I was uh, a little nervous at first that I wouldn't be able to stand out in a room with such good comedians. But then I remembered I'm gay, Hispanic, and poor, so by affirmative action, I'm already the most interesting man you've seen tonight. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You guys look good. You look like you dressed up for a Missy Elliott concert. How you doing? <laughs> let me ask you, though, let me ask you a question. Now that I outed myself on a gay of, scale of like one to six, how gay do I come off to you? Be honest. Four. Four is good? Okay, so he can't follow directions, but I'll take it four. <laughs> The only reason I ask is because somebody came up to me the other day and they said, hey man, you don't come off as gay as you actually are. <laughs> Which I think was a compliment, but he really just caught me on a day where my wrist wasn't as limp as it usually is. <laughs> and that just depends on my playlist, so bad day. I, um, as a gay man, we do get some benefits or a couple perks. Um, for me, I find it very easy to make out with beautiful women. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, woo. Woo for you guys. For me, it's not much of a benefit, but in this economy, you take what you can get. And I can still remember the most beautiful girl I've ever met before, though. She was Brazilian and Mexican mix, and she had this long, beautiful hair, this gorgeous Coca-Cola-shaped body, and most importantly, she had a really nice manicure. And, and she's buying me drinks, and then she takes me to the corner of this bar and just straddles me. And I'm thinking, I've never been with a forward-thinking feminist before. This is going to be fun. So I was like, all right, cool. And if I ever see her again, I have to thank her. Because of her, I know that I'm just undeniably very gay. <laughs> because we leaned in for the kiss, and our noses touched, and the only thing that I could think of was, damn, her lipstick looks so cheap up close. <laughs> and for a guy like me, that's kind of a deal-breaker, so it didn't work. I've also made out with a lot of my friends' girlfriends, and uh, I never get in trouble for it. Man, yeah, there's one of them over there somewhere. Um, and I don't get in trouble because it's harmless fun, you know? I know how to put the keys in the ignition, but I only know how to drive a stick. So... Um, thank you. Wow, you guys are perverts. Anyway... For me, I, I decided it was a good idea to possibly open up a business, you know, gay escort business, where straight men can rent out gay men for their women, and I would call it appetizers. We'll get her started so you don't have to. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, a smooth transition. I almost got stabbed once getting off the subway. Uh, I say almost, so if you haven't yet, you can either learn from me or laugh at me. Either or is fine. But I got off the subway, and I was ignoring eye contact with all strangers, as polite New Yorkers do. And I bumped into somebody. And before I could say, hey man, I'm real sorry, he goes, yo, how much money you got? And I was like, okay, they say first thought, best thought, that's a lie, because I said, I'm going to defend myself. So I look up, and that's when I notice that he's taller than me. And I'm a Latino, we tend to be on the shorter side, that's fine, I'm used to it. But I look down, and that's when I see the knife. And I scrambled for a plan. Now, the pathetic part here is, is that I've taken self-defense classes before. I have a black belt in my attic. I have done kickboxing. I've even done a little bit of Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Yet, the only thing I could think of was kick this guy in the balls. So I did. And I took no pleasure in doing it, but I do have to admit, I did kind of enjoy seeing a seven-foot man on the floor crying. Um, and that was nice. So I decided this is a good chance for me to run away. You know, my limp wrist flapping in the wind. And I got home, and I was pretty content with myself for a while, because I was like, hey, I just survived a mugging. That's, like, pretty cool, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. But uh, then I remembered that I can't tell even my mother that this happened. Not because I'd be embarrassed. Obviously, I don't care about that. But she said to me before I moved out, don't walk around alone at night, especially if you have money in your pockets. And I was like, why, why can't I do that? And she said, well, because you look like you fight like a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I had the same reaction too, but hey, she was right, so. <laughs> now, um, when you guys go home and you think about me, as I hope you all will, uh, I want you to remember me for this. Don't be afraid to be yourself, guys. Don't be afraid to stand out. I come out from a very big Latin family. I have a lot of aunts, a lot of uncles, grandparents. It's very hard to stand out from them, um, which is why I graduated high school, actually, so. <laughs> all right, everyone, that's my time. My name's David Reyes. <laughs>